Hey everybody, welcome to another Golden Mike how-to video. We have my wife Carmen and my mother-in-law, the internet chef sensation, Maria Sedade. And today we are going to make my favorite Portuguese dish, caserla. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. Today we're going to be doing um, caserla in the pork ribs format, but usually they would use a pork loin and use the shredded meat to make caserla sandwiches. Yep, so the first part is she's going to cut all the ribs individually. You need the good knife for that. Yeah, watch your fingers, you're making me nervous. <laughs> That's a big piece. Um, usually we would add all the spices, let it marinate overnight to really get those flavors in there. And then the next morning we would cook it at a medium low heat for a couple of hours. And that gives you your traditional um, casserole taste. But today, and we're going to actually be putting it to the crock pot so later on we can have them for dinner. Yeah. So now I want to wash and I like washing everything before. We're going to wash off all the coronavirus off there. <laughs> oh, please, I don't want to. Okay, step two, we're going to add about two cloves of garlic diced. So my mom's adding two cloves of gar garlic into there. Okay, next she's going to add some bay leaves, maybe, maybe one and a half. Yeah, Maybe three. Because know. that's small. Okay. So about one bay leaf, if it's big enough, if not, if it's small, add two bay leaves. She's adding about um, a teas teaspoon of sh salt. Maybe more. A little bit more? Yeah. Two, you think? Yeah, two. These Portuguese ladies, they don't measure anything. They just kind of wing it. So we're trying to give you approximate. So about two um, tablespoons of salt. Teaspoons. Now we have this temporos portuguese. It's Portuguese allspice. Half a teaspoon. Yeah, because of this taste. I have a lot of taste. Okay. So she's adding about a half a teaspoon of this all Portuguese spice. Portuguese allspice. You not have this. You can put a cinnamon, a little bit cinnamon. Okay. A little bit white pepper and black pepper. No. This is not Portuguese, but I like to put this too. She has to put a little bit of oregano in here as well. I know, match nothing because I... She doesn't usually measure anything. So probably about a teaspoon also. Yeah. Okay. Oregano. Now I want to put black uh, uh, red pepper. Okay, red pepper. Let's show everybody what type. Gonzalez hot chopped peppers. No okay. matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever type of red pepper you have and prefer. One. Two, three, four, one. Uh, depend the, the the way you like. Okay. Cooking what? wine, white wine. That's also Portuguese. Because the Portuguese put booze in everything. <laughs> of course, I'm Portuguese. Okay. What is this now? How much is this? And I have uh, a, a mini Portuguese bowl full. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> All right, so it's about a half a cup. I measured it, so about a half a cup of cooking wine, any type of white cooking wine. Can you use red, Ma? Red, uh, uh, you can use... Uh, beer, can you use beer? Beer or wine for drink too. Okay, How so... About whiskey? This I use for cook. <laughs> Ms. Anna have this, I use another one. And last but not least, what are you adding here? Paprika. This paprika very red. You need to put a little bit, not put too much because it come in too red. Okay. So I want to put maybe t three like this. Three tablespoons or so. Yeah. One. <laughs> Looks like a lot more than one. Two. <laughs> Those are big spoonfuls. Three. It's basically the coat. Um, this support. this one very good. I, I'm buy nice one this time. Now you mix everything. I'm, I wanna, Did you wash your hands? I want to wash it now. Yeah. Now I mix everything together. So again, traditionally, my mom's going to mix this all really, really well, and you would refrigerate it overnight for 24 hours if you were going to cook it traditionally on the stove. But because we're going to expedite it using the crock pot, she's going to just mix it really, really well, and we're going to put it into the crock pot. Okay. So we can see here it's fully coated. Yummy! This is a very professional cooking show. It's not plugged in. It's not ready to go. <laughs> and we're going to let it 
Does um, anything go in there as far as water or anything like that? Or just by themselves. We could probably put a little bit of water. I'll probably put a half a cup. No, no, put water. No, no, you not put water in the casserole. Oh, maybe a little bit of oil. No. So how is it gonna cook like this? It's gonna cook because it has the wine. You forget? Oh, okay. You tell him, huh? You have the wine. You don't need put water. So I put it in the crock pot. We're gonna set it to about high. Um, for about six to eight hours, check on it periodically. Make sure it's cooked before you eat it. You can also um, cook at a low temperature overnight and in the morning it will be ready for you as well. All right, we're here with the finished product. It looks delicious. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome, Anita. Say bye to your fans. Bye. What are we gonna make <laughs> next? next time? What are we making next time? I don't know. Portuguese ice cream? Fish eyes. <laughs> It's really good. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Uh, cook my favorite Portuguese dish, which I'm pretty sure is the only Portuguese dish that I like. Excuse me, you like my chicken too. The casserole. I forgot the name. <laughs> Ribs. Ribs. If you don't have this... Dad, you wash your hands? Longer overnight.